Save it for last. Hi everyone again. Sure second finished. witnessing video. Well, God save well, the best. On uh, the book of John. Yes. Chapter I two tonight. Um Father God, I just ask that you would that use your word. Just Sorry, I had to pause the video I was watching. Father God, I just pray that you would just use your word and just Touch people's hearts and just just use it to pique someone's interest and to just lead them to ask questions and to lead them to you. In Jesus' name I pray. So this is John chapter 2 out of the New Living Translation. The Wedding at Cana. The next day there was a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities, so Jesus' mother told him, They have no more wine. Dear woman, that's not our problem, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. But his mother told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars used for Jewish ceremonial washing. Each could hold 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, Fill the jars with water. When the jars had been filled, he said, Now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants followed his instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water, that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine. But you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign at Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After the wedding, he went to Capernaum for a few days with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples. Jesus clears the temple. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration, so Jesus went to Jerusalem. In the temple area, he saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifices. He also saw dealers at tables exchanging foreign money. Jesus made a whip from some ropes and chased them all out of the temple. He drove out the sheep and cattle, scattered the money changers' coins over the floor, and turned over their tables. Then going to the people or to the people who sold the doves, he told them, Get these things out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a marketplace. Then his disciples remembered this prophecy from the scriptures, Passion for God's house will consume me. But the Jewish leaders demanded, What are you doing? If God gave you authority to do this, show us a miraculous sign to prove it. All right, Jesus replied. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. What, they exclaimed? It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you can rebuild it in three days? But when Jesus said this temple, he meant his own body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered he had said this, and they believed both the scriptures and what Jesus had said. Jesus and Nicodemus because of the miraculous signs Jesus did in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration, many began to trust in him. But Jesus didn't trust them, because he knew all about people. No one needed to tell him about human nature, for he knew what was in each person's heart. That was John chapter 2. I just, if, if, have you, if you have any questions about anything, feel free Please put the questions in the comments, and I'll try to get back with you and talk with you about it. Um, I'm going to try to get, a, get another homesteading video out there soon. Um, just look to God, and you will never regret giving your life to Christ. Never. There will, al there will always be regret in not giving your life to Christ. That would be an eternal regret. But I just pray that each and every person that watches this video right now, Lord Jesus, you just touch their hearts and somehow lead them to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Till next time, guys. Hopefully just tomorrow night. Bye.